Hey there, this is a great idea that you can help with in a final push to uh, help collect as many signatures and digitally share the opportunity to sign a recall petition for Scott Walker, Rebecca Cleefish, and on this page too that um, you've got a download link for the petition document, you can sign the petition uh, for recalling Scott Fitzgerald as well. So here's how it works. Um, if you click this link over here, that's going to take you to a page that has if you just uh, right click on this, you can download uh, Save As the file. This will be the Scott Walker recall petition. This is the official petition. This goes right to the uh, Recall Walker uh, PO box. And um, here's what you do you end up signing this in two different places as both the petitioner and the circulator. Now, so you fill in your information, your name, street address, city, zip code, village, city, township. You need to date this. Um, this isn't required, your email and your phone number. You don't have to give that, uh, but it does help in case there's something that's illegible about your recall petition. People can contact you and get in touch and make sure that everything goes through right. Um, but as well as the circulator, you need to sign and certify that the information that you saw being collected is uh, valid and true and you're signing your name on the dotted line this is you know a contract a covenant that you're certifying this is valid information that you believe to be true this petitioner um, you need to be a valid uh, a potential eligible voter in the state of Wisconsin you need to have lived here 28 days over 18 years old not a felon you don't have to be registered to vote to sign a petition you don't have to be. Um, uh, you don't have to have voted in the past to sign a petition, but um, you do need to be eligible to vote in Wisconsin. Uh, over 18, not a felon, and have lived in the state at this a residential mailing address for more than 28 days, uh, and then you sign your name to the dotted line, and then you date it here to uh, send in this as a single form. Now, if you have a couple of friends and you would like them to sign too, only one signature uh, per person will count if they've already signed. It's not going to do any good. It's just going to create more work if they sign again, so that's not necessary. But every petitioner needs to date their signature, and you can have a couple of friends sign this as well. If they haven't signed anywhere else, they can sign, um, but don't date the bottom of it as a circulator until you're ready to send it in. So if you're going to just sign it once and send it in, then date it on the day that you signed it. One signature, you're good. If you're going to get more signatures on it, don't date it before you have them sign it because all of these signatures will be invalid. They won't count if you sign it as a circulator on the 15th and they sign on the 16th, whatever. Um, that's getting pretty late because we're turning things in on the 17th or earlier. You want to hand these in by the 12th. So um, anyway, do this right away. Send this to a friend. Here's the cool thing about this. Once you're on the event page itself, you have to up here. Now, I can't see it anymore because I've already joined. It'll give you the opportunity to join or decline. Once you've joined, you have to say you're joining then you have the ability to invite friends. And then from inviting friends, here's how cool it is. You click this, it'll open up and give you an opportunity to send to um, any individual friend. Now look at some of these are grayed out. These are friends that have already been invited through someone else or maybe you. You can come back and invite several people. Um, Say so you get more friends or you're talking about it and other people are actually saying, hey, send that to me. You can come back and and send this out um, to your friends. And then after you go through and you click a bunch of different friends, uh, be discreet and specific about this. You're not going to want to send it to every single person on your friends list. Um, make sure that they are valid, eligible, and interested in this. And then encourage them to go ahead and send this to a friend. I encourage you to go ahead and join the page even if you don't need to download and sign the signature yourself because joining is what gives you the opportunity to send this to a friend. That's what makes it go viral. 
viral. If you send it to friends and they send it to friends, or you send to 50 friends and they send to 50 friends, you can see how fast that can, that can actually uh, spread. So go ahead and uh, join the page, send to a couple of friends, invite, or add a personal message here. I like to say, uh, So you go, you know, go ahead, send them a little email message. You don't collect every single friend that you've got, but you can go through and, you know, um, discreetly select people that, that you know are going to be in support of the effort. And I'm actually looking for one specific person who's got a really monstrous network and really uh, kicking butt on this. We want to make sure that... Um, here we go. Randy Milwaukee Iron Workers gets this and he can send things out. So you can um, invite several friends on several rounds. This is really easy. Uh, you go to the page, download, print, fill out, sign and send the petition. If you want to gather more petition signatures than just your own, you can certify the validity of it. Just don't date the form until the day you're ready to send it in um, because any petitions that are collected after the date of the circulator are declared invalid. So if you date it on the day you download it and then continue to collect signatures, they won't count. You'll have wasted your time. So go ahead, uh, send the petition out, uh, share it as far as you can. Let's make it go as viral as fast as we can and finish strong. Thanks.